Hey everybody, it's Brian Sansom. I'm doing my master's thesis project right now, and it's all based off of drum miking technique. And if you think about it, you would probably never allow a drummer to hit a drum if your ear was about this far away from it. Now, a good solid two inches is where we put microphones all the time. And also going into this project, I've discovered that there's nobody that's ever published exactly where to put a microphone on a drum to get a good sound. So after pouring through a lot of different books, different articles, I determined that we're gonna set a standard mic system up. We're doing all the mics at 45 degree angles. We're doing two inches off the rim and then three inches off the rim. And then we're also doing uh, the overheads at an equal distance from the snare drum. Then you can see that there's a whole bunch of microphones behind, and this is the experimental setup here. And you can see all these wonderful shotgun microphones. And we use the laser to mark and pinpoint so that they are pointed very close to the exact spot where our standard microphones are. And then we record and play back. And I'm gonna provide the assets in a Dropbox where you can listen to each of these individually or in a group. And I'll also put them out in a Pro Tools session so that you can see what we did and check how we recorded and what each individual mic sounds like. The next video that you see, you'll see the two takes of the drums. It'll go through once with a take of drum. So two inches from the rim of each drum and then three inches from the rim of each drum and then the overheads are left in the same configuration. And then move the array of shotgun microphones forward, and then we'll record that and play that so that you can hear the differences in those. We'll play it through off of the standard mics and then off of the array of mics again as well.
The first two, we, we set up with the mics and the, the array back here for all these shotgun microphones. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna move all these microphones to be more straight overhead of each of the instruments that they're connected to, to recording. And then we're going to see what that sounds like. So All right, so let me walk you through exactly what we did here. I've got two marks on each of the drum heads, the marks at two inches in off the rim, and then we were two inches from each of the individual microphones that are on the kit. For each of these microphones here, you're looking at the Sennheiser MKH 416P48. So those are all identical microphones. And I picked those because of Number one, the frequency response in them, as well as the, uh, the characteristics of the microphones, I just felt was a better microphone than some of the other choices that I had. I really want to say thanks to everybody that helped me out. We got Isaac Harper, uh, Jared Bigelow, 
Hayden Clough and Cody Simpson here, the drummer, um, really helping me out. They got a bat, helping me get all this set up, making all the adjustments, filming, photography, everything that you see going on here, I couldn't have done it without those teams. Also want to thank Dr. Dill at IUPUI, as well as Mike Wisland at UVU, Utah Valley University. Another thanks to Trevor Van Sulen, like Skylar Haas, and all the people that really helped me dream this up over the years. I want to say thanks to you guys. Thanks to Cliff Mogg, um, David Demick, Evan Spence, Anderson, Performance Audio, uh, and you've used digital media program as well. Uh, this has been a work in progress. I can't wait, like you guys, to discover exactly how this sounds and how it works and if it could be used in a mix later on. I'm Big Brian from SLC Audio. Thank you guys for watching this. If you're not sure what you just watched, this is my master's thesis. I'm a student at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, working on my thesis in music technology. Thanks guys, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna have more fun things going forward with experimentation and mic techniques, explanations, everything that you could wanna know about recording it is my goal to make that available and ready for you guys to have and use. See you guys next time.